Hello everybody and welcome back to Amity Bloom. Today's video is all about Victorian envelopes. I was so inspired by the beautiful Victorian Valentines from this time period that I wanted to create my own version of a digital kit using these gorgeous ephemera pieces and creating envelope designs that can be layered on top of each other. I wanted this digital kit to have so much imagery from this time period, the flowers, the pinks, the reds, the little doves, and of course roses. These are some of the papers that I designed where I wanted to capture the beauty of Victorian Valentines and give them a three-dimensional look to them, pairing them with paper laces and also including little wax seals so that your envelopes truly come to life. The first envelope that I'm going to be decorating is one that I like to cut out from one sheet of paper and fold into three separate parts. Very similar to my holiday envelope cards where you take a long sheet of paper and divide it into three sections. This one is going to be a longer envelope and I absolutely loved the pink theme on the outside and I went into my little textile box to find a piece of crocheted lace, a cute little doily that I thought would be the perfect closure. It matches with the papered lace that's on the little flap on the front of the envelope and that beautiful floral ribbon rose. I've been hoarding a stash of these little flowers from an estate sale that I recently purchased them from and I wanted to perhaps use some of that gold little mesh on the back side of the rose but there's something so beautiful and elegant about just using a doily and a gorgeous ribbon rose on the cover. I think it gave it a true Victorian look to it and then opening up the envelope since I have little sections to work with. I thought it would be the cutest thing to cut the heart in half and use them as little tuck spots or use a complete heart with this gorgeous wallpaper backing as the inside. Moving on to the second envelope, this envelope was a joy to design. I used a Victorian postcard and I deconstructed it so that every part of the envelope flap had a piece of that postcard it gave it such a beautiful look and I decided to add some little sequins where the flowers were placed, a ruffle to make it look very elegant. And then on the bottom, I used some crepe paper that I tea stained and some Victorian lace, which is perfect to match the theme of these envelopes. For the third envelope, I knew that I didn't want to cover any of that beautiful pink lace design as well as the front. So I decided to use some of our papered lace that we die cut it from a cardstock, adding a little wax seal that you get in the digital kit and extending the design. Moving on to probably my most favorite and cute little envelope. It's an interactive envelope in the shape of a heart, but you fold over the pockets and it creates a little heart closure. Perfect for having any type of ephemera and keeping it nice and snug. You have the decoration of the silhouette of a heart, but you have the functionality of a pocket by folding in the flaps. And I knew I wanted to decorate this in a Victorian theme, so I wanted to use some beautiful crushed velvet, putting some Victorian lace right on top, gluing the little pockets, and you have the most gorgeous little heart envelope. Another little option that you can do is create a little heart flap. So these are a heart silhouettes. You fold over the side little pieces of the heart and you create a little flip out. It's the cutest little thing because it's a little peekaboo surprise. I wanted to make sure to offer different varieties in the digital kit in case you're looking for separate pieces to tell your story. These are little heart messages. So in the silhouette of a heart, you have a sweet little angel and sentiments. I am flipping through some of the papers from the coordinating paper pack and I want to play around with the interactive elements such as this gorgeous Victorian closure. I wanted to design a closure that you can wrap around the envelope designs or a journal if you're creating a journal for yourself as well as some little heart silhouettes of heart tokens that you can put into any little envelope. You can use them as decoration or to fill up a sweet little envelope. This is the heart silhouette envelope that we created together and they just offer a little sentiment to cheer your spirits at the end of the day, especially if you're creating a journal or a project. 
Moving on to probably the most interesting project. This is going to be a flap. So we're taking a piece of paper, folding it in half, cutting another little piece of paper that matches the width of half of the page and we're essentially creating a little folder for ephemera or envelopes. And I wanted to add the Victorian closure around it to hold it tight. It's essentially a journal because when you open the flap and you turn the page over, you could put signatures inside of this little flap. Or you could fill up the inside with envelopes or ephemera pieces. So it's really up to your imagination with how you want to fill up this little folder. It's a quirky little project, but I love the closure because it adds so much dimension. And I wanted to create a little floating pocket with the same concept, a piece of paper that creates the closure on the bottom, and then you can add any type of ephemera inside. For this one, I wanted to use one of the wallpapered hearts or the little flat pieces of the wallpaper flip out and you could essentially write little sentiments on each little flap as well as include the full heart in the back. If you wanted to be extra fancy, you could use one of the wax seals or even some of the love tokens. You could also just use the paper that you already have on hand or if you just get the paper pack of the digital kit, you can create your own envelopes using a pre-existing envelope as your template. And that's exactly what I did with this page. This is one of my favorite pages from the paper pack. And I used one of the Victorian envelope templates, placed a paper clip and cut around it. And then for the decoration, I didn't want to cover up that gorgeous Victorian rose. So I instead I used some lace, wrapped some sari silk in between the little holes as the closure for the envelope. For this envelope, it has more of a tan design, so I wanted to coordinate it with some Victorian lace, a little calling card, and a blue ruffle at the bottom, and to add some dimension, a Victorian button at the top. I love the color palette of this envelope. It's simple but beautiful. And if you're wanting to do something different, apart from an envelope, you could do a paper sample card. So here is one of the wallpaper design printables that I have in my shop and I added them together by using vintage papers and book pages as the, like the little hinges and I pulled out this gorgeous sari silk trim that had a little bit of blue and a little bit of tan. I like to layer it up with some gold mesh trim that I have from a little skirt from a baby's dress and then some Victorian lace on the corner. For this ephemera piece, I'm just taking a piece of paper and folding it a little bit over, adding some embossed paper, some fabric, and I'm taking this piece from the kit, and I'm only attaching part of it to the top of this French ephemera to extend the page, so kind of give yourself a little bit of writing space. And then this is another piece of that gorgeous paper from the Victorian Love paper pack. Folding it over very similar to how I did with my holiday cards. Just take a long strip of paper and fold it into three parts. You can fold the top part into a little triangle and that creates the envelope effect without you having to fold it into an actual envelope. And I'm decorating it with Victorian laces, with some trim, and a Victorian flower piece that comes in the digital kit. And this is just a little example of how when you start to layer the actual envelope pieces, the ephemera pieces that you created on top of each other, they tell a story. I'm going to be sharing different types of heirloom envelopes in the coming weeks. If you love the printables, I will link them below. And if you want to follow in this heirloom envelope challenge, make sure to share your beautiful envelopes that you create either through the Facebook group, through YouTube, or Instagram. And I can't wait to share with you the other envelopes that I have in mind. I hope that you have an incredible day wherever you are, and I am sending you so much peace and so much love.